Welcome to visit the OM Tech Polar Operation tutorial video. It's easy to install in a few steps. Connect the Polar's power cord. Insert the interlocked connector. Flip the main power switch. Insert and turn your laser key. Confirm that the Polar is connected to your computer either through its control. Part 1. Network Connection Tutorial Method 1. Wireless Connection Search for Wi-Fi on the computer. Click on Polar 350, then enter the password 123456ABC and wait for the connection to go through. Right-click on the network icon in the lower right corner of the screen and select Open Network Internet Settings. Click on Change Adapter Options. Right-click on the WLAN and select Properties. Select TCP IPv4, then click on Properties. Select Use the following IP address. And enter the IP address and subnet mask below. Then click on OK. After that, you can leave the page. Enter the Lightburn software. Select Device. Create manually. Select Rueda from the drop-down menu. Select Ethernet UDP. Then, enter your IP address. Enter the machine name, Polar350, arbitrarily, and enter the Lightburn working area. Select the mechanical origin as rear right, click on Finish. Finally, select the machine name, Polar350, just entered in the software to connect to the machine. Method 2. Ethernet Connection After plugging in the network cable, right-click the network icon in the lower right corner and select Open Network Internet Settings. Select Change Adapter Options. Right-click on Ethernet and select Properties. Select Use the following IP address on the page and then enter the IP address and subnet mask below. After clicking on the OK, close the page. Enter Lightburn software, select device, create manually, then slide down the menu to select RUEDA. Select Ethernet UDP. Enter IP address. Enter the machine name, Polar350. Arbitrarily, and enter the working area. Select the mechanical origin as rear right-click on Finish. Finally, select the machine name, Polar350, just entered in the software to connect to the Part 2. Flat engraving and cutting. Firstly, you need to measure the thickness of the material and place it into the engraver's main bay. Then open the Lightburn software. After that, import the picture you want to engrave and click on Open. Then adjust the size of the engraved picture. If you need to cut the carved pattern on the wooden board, please draw a range. Click on Edit Machine Settings Focus Distance, then enter the corresponding distance, and click on OK. Here is the formula for focal length measurement. The input distance equals 17 mm, minus the thickness of the plate to be engraved. Modify the engraving and cutting parameters, speed, and power. After modification, click on OK. Click on Move Focus C to focus on the engraving head. Click on Frame to see if the engraving and cutting area is within the set area. Click on Start to start engraving and cutting. When Polar starts engraving, the duct fan can be turned on as needed, and the airflow and working time can be adjusted using the wirelessly connected remote control panel. Finally, a perfect carved wood panel painting is completed. Likewise, if you want to engrave on a relatively small object, you need to determine where the pattern is located, and change the parameters in the software to achieve the desired engraving effect.
When the engraver is finished, remove your work and examine the effect. Part 3. Camera Calibration. Please download the basic board file in advance and print it. The first step of camera setup is to connect the USB cable from the machine to the computer. If the indicator light of the camera is on, it means the connection is going through. Put in the carved wooden board, the wooden board needs to block the honeycomb bed to prevent the camera from misidentifying the pattern. Then click on laser tools, calibrate camera lens, select shunkum and fisheye lens. According to the prompt steps of camera setup, put the reference plate into the engraving area for identification. Click on Capture, make sure the score is less than 1, preferably less than 0.3. If not recognized, please fine-tune the angle and position of the reference plate, then click Capture again. When the score is less than 1, you can click on Next. After completing the identification of all positions, click on Align Camera and Finish. Then, click on Laser Tools and Calibrate Camera Alignment. Select the left side of the screen. Select Shunkum and hit Next. Then, you need to change Fill Power to 40, Line Power to 50, Fill Speed to 300, and then click on Frame. If the focal length has not been confirmed, the material thickness needs to be measured and input to material thickness. Finally, click Start to start carving. Carving is actually carried out on the wooden board, as shown in the figure after the end. After processing, click on Stop. Click on Capture Image. Enlarge the picture, then move the mouse to the center of the four patterns one by one to form a box of red box lines. Finally, when this interface appears, click on Finish. Congratulations! You have completed the steps of camera setup. Part 4. Recognize the image for engraving. Next, we will show you how to actually use this feature. Put the pattern to be engraved on the honeycomb bed, and click on Trace. Then, select the area to be engraved. Modify the cutoff and threshold, and click on OK. After clicking on OK, the image will show. If you need to cut an engraved pattern, draw or import the image shape file. Then, align the two layers that need to be cut. Finally, set your cutting power and speed, and click on Start. Now you have a good-looking decorative light. Part 5. Rotary Axis Use The OM Tech Polar also comes with two custom-purpose rotary axes. Turn the engraver off. Like with thick materials, remove the debris tray and the workbed. Insert the connection cable and place the rotary in the front left corner of the open bay. Plug the 4-pin connection into the socket at the rear left. Flip both rotary switches back towards the rear of the machine. Lock the protective switch into place. Gently move the laser tube and x-axis rail to the correct set of arrows. Rotary axis 1 uses the right set. Rotary Axis 2 uses the left set. You can choose the right rotary axis according to the thickness of the item. Measure the size of the desired engraving on the item and mark it. After determining the position and size of the engraved pattern. Firstly, import the pattern that needs to be engraved. And set the size of the engraved picture. Click on Edit and select Machine Setting. Then set the focus distance according to the height of the engraved item. Click on Laser Tools and Rotary Setup, change Enable Rotary to Green and set the desired parameters. Modify to your desired power and speed, and click on OK. Next, just trace your design with the pen function. For conical objects, use the Adjustment knob to create a level surface. 
and adjust the item to a horizontal position. After setting the parameters you can start engraving. The OM Tech 50 Watt Polar Laser Engraving Machine. Beaming with possibilities, 